Hey guys, it's Dr. Perry coming at you from the uh, hotel workout room here in Melbourne, Australia. And I wanted to go over something that I think may be helpful for you in cueing a hip hinge. Basically throwing your ass back, you know, from the junk in the trunk. And many times when we ask people to flex forward, right, what happens is they come here and then they round the back. They don't throw the hips back. So it's, I find it helpful if you change a point of reference, like you give an external cue, something I learned is very powerful from Nick Winkleman, who's gonna be a guest on my podcast when I get back home next week. We just recorded it. But instead of telling somebody to throw their butt back, that's something that their brain just can't comprehend. So they're usually more comfortable going into a flexion-based pattern. So what I have people do is, instead of bending over to touch your toes, or saying, I want you to throw your butt back, I'm gonna say, I want you to reach out and away from your body, diagonally towards the floor. So basically what it would look like is, if I'm standing here, I'm not just gonna round forward and touch my toes, right? I'm gonna have them about 45 degree angle and I'm gonna pick a spot and I'm gonna say, I want you to reach towards that spot and I'll mark it. And then, so I'll show you option number one of how most people do it. And then I'm gonna say the reach. So I'm gonna come forward like that. Can you see the difference? So my ass automatically goes back here as opposed to here. Right? So it's a really great small difference on a cue to have people get better at the hip hinge. So remember, don't say bend forward, touch your toes. You can do that first to see what they got. And don't say throw your ass back. Just say reach forward and try to touch the mark out in front of you. If that's too difficult for them to do standing, then all I want you to do is do it in a seated position. So let me get the lacrosse ball, uh, not the lacrosse ball, but the stability ball. So if I sit here like this, right? Sorry, tough angles. So I know the light's gonna blind you, but what the hell, it's on the fly. So instead of bending forward like this, right? We have them reach forward that way, reach forward. And you can see that your butt automatically wants to go back as opposed to this here. And then we say actively reach, 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 right? So then that'll give you just a small little difference in the cue. And trust me, that can make all the difference in the world, all right? Dr. Perry coming at you from Melbourne, Australia. Hope this was helpful. See you soon.